not taking counsel was that, first of all, uh, I know pretty much what y'all like and don't like and what you order, and I can pretty, you know, guess what you're doing. Also, Mr. Myers asked that we not do it. It gives the teachers and you students a little more time instead of messing with the count. And uh, every day, we're responsible for what we call a production sheet because we're writing down our production uh, and our production is what we're producing each day. And each day, we have papers and it lists all the things that were incurred that day. And I have to write what I planned, which what I think we're going to see, or a lot of times I'll put down what I what I ordered to cover you for the day. And uh, if I'm going to sell extra, like a lot of you today, bought chicken rings, and then and then we write how much we actually did serve. Then at the end of the day, we write down the leftovers. And so each, like next week, when I have chicken rings again, if I want to, I can go back and say, well, you know, we actually did, we did six cases and a half last week. Let's go seven this week. Or plan on it. I'm going to try to pull that down. Oh. Show that to them on the screen. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I was going to pass it around. Yeah. Okay. Where? I'll get it. I okay. just had to get the thing down. <laughs> so. Anyway, that's how we figured that out. There's breakfast and lunch there. You can show them lunch. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I also brought um, a uh, order list. This is just things I get from Labatt. I also make a farmer's market. Um, I also do farmer's market. Now, this is breakfast. Which so much? Well, it, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Lunch has more on it. All right. <coughs> this also is what I order from the bat, and this is what I get most of these. Yeah. I, also, I also have a farmer's market, and I also have a bread order. But I can also, because I do the orders, kind of, can kind of remember you know, what I ordered and what we have left, and, you know, you get used to it. I've done it 15 years, and um, pretty much after I learned the new fifth graders and what they like and what's going, what's not going, it's, it's pretty predictable. You know, it's just like your mom making a grocery list, and y'all are pretty predictable. I mean, we all are. You know, I like the same cereal and like the same milk. And, you know, so, you know, we're all pretty much the same. So, I can either pass this around and let y'all look at it. This last week, I ordered about $5,000 for just from the bat. Would y'all like to pass it around right quick and just kind of look at something you've never seen? Let me see if I can put some of it up. Real yeah, on. it may not on the elevator. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, questions? Maybe I'm going to do that. Does he? Well, that's cool. They're, they're real nice there. We enjoy it. We use So, questions? There we go. Good ink, y'all. See, this kind of things I buy. And it tells, let's see, where's the amount? Over. It tells how many I bought um, right here. Then it tells what it is. And then over here it tells how much that costs per unit, which is one case. Y'all be surprised how much some of this costs. And that's what my order sheet looks like from the back. This is the sandwich wraps. Look at the sandwich wraps, for example. Yeah. Look at that. $150. They're $75 for a case. Yeah. Yeah. And how many is in a case? Uh, where is that out of here? 2000 Two thousand. Two thousand. This is spoiled. What did you want to know, huh? Um, like, saying that, um, for a new budget box, like, say everyone got chicken rings, would you get two chicken rings, or would you still get Well, like today on the sub sandwiches, I know that it's chicken rings today, and that's your favorite, and I know burritos would be second. So, uh, I knew that you get mostly chicken rings, so we just made 15 cold sandwiches. So, if you if people still want to know, would you get two chicken what we do in the Keller District is called Often Versus Serve, which means we can't 
Nike can't get anything. And um, so if any lunch lady tries to make you, she, she's not really supposed to. And also, we call, we do what you call batch cooking. And it's kind of like McDonald's does. They, they cook your fries pretty much as they're going along as the orders come. And we try to cook it as we go. And that way, it's as fresh as we can get it for you. Uh, the only, you know, things like rolls we cook ahead. But, you know, they're pretty fresh. It's just like the chicken ring, she's cooking them as we go. The burritos. And most of the stuff. So that's, you know. Yeah, have one more question. Yeah. Like, uh, how it, do you, like, predict, like, um, what a two-week day, how much we can make of chicken rings? Well, yeah, because uh, for I, in the order, I get two Mondays in it. And because I order from Thursday to Thursday, so I order normally 14 cases of chicken rings for two days. So I, I figure right now it's uh, going to be, you know, seven cases. Also, what I forgot to bring in, uh, at the end of the day, I run up this call, it's called Operation Summary, and it tells me how many children I fed, how many teachers I fed, um, or adults, and a la carte, how many breakfasts, uh, and it breaks you all down uh, completely, and it tells me, you know, how, much, how many people I serve, and on the next page, on the back, it tells me how many all the carts I sold, and that breaks down into lunches and uh, extras. So that we have a formula where, like, if I had four hundred fifty dollars worth of snacks or all the carts, I divide that by two point six nine, and that gives me a meal equivalent, which means they're going to let that count for so many meals. And so I add that to my meal count. I, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Any, any, did I answer your question? Yes, ma'am. How, how much are you in each case? Well, it varies. Uh, there's 60 serving to a case of uh, chicken rings, and you get five each. Some cases, like burritos, are 32 uh, to a case. But chicken rings, they come by weight, 10 pounds. Your hamburger meat is from the government, actually, and it comes 200 to a case. You know, I pretty much know all that. Like, I know there's 80 hot dogs to a case, stuff like that. So you have to memorize that. Well, in other words, that's kind of yeah. <laughs> You remember it. Yeah. Any more questions? No? Yes? Do you have every single person um, on your list? So I have it in the computer under... Oh, wow. Under mealtime, I have every one of you. So, like, yeah. even if somebody got their lunch, like, the entire year, you can buy lunch one time. I, I can look and see. She can make a report that generates that information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Your parents can come in and see that. Do you yeah, ever, with 12, since we have our 12.30 lunch, does it ever come up a situation where you run out of food of any particular thing? Do, so, I see that most of what you do is kind of based on prediction. And so, if, if we, at 12.30, something happens, how do you problem solve for that situation? Well, first of all, we hate for that to happen. <laughs> and uh, as much as y'all do, if not more. And what we do, say I ran out of chicken rings. Okay, I've got some popcorn chicken in there. And I know you'll like that. So I'll try to get the popcorn chicken. If I don't have popcorn chicken, I'll look for something that is a meat. A substitute. A, a, a mm -hmm. meat substitute that will, you know, has to be meat, meat. Milk, milk, you know. Uh, so I'm, I usually try to get something you like better so that it won't be so bad when right. we don't have it. And we can start hustling and we get it out. So would you say, though, in general, that the that y'all, generally speaking, you get pretty close on yeah, your estimates? Yeah, we do very good. Yes, we do okay. very good. In fact, on that production sheet, well, it has it like, uh, well, that last week, you can look. On leftovers, if you pull it and look on the end column of the leftovers, you can see how close we got. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, on the production sheet. So that way you know for next week to kind of, yeah, oh, we were weak we here, had. we need to go ahead and bump it up for next right. week. Gotcha. Okay. Like this morning on breakfast on the French toast, it doesn't yeah. go very good. 
So we backed it up to 20. Well, we ran out. So next week I'll fix 25 again. Okay. Or 24. Yes, ma'am. Why do we have chicken rings? Why rings? Good question. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> but in general, district-wide, everybody wants chicken rings. Why rings? Why do you think of rings? <laughs> It's been big because six well, quarters of chicken rings. Our sales are up very, very high. That was what I was going to say. What, was your, what would you consider to be your number one seller on lunch? Pizza and chicken rings. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like chicken rings. I like pizza fries. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, what happens if you want completely out of water? Well, if we ran out of milk, I'd ha I, there's lots of times I've had to go to other schools during our break uh -huh. to get more food. More hot dog buns, more hamburger buns, more meat, more bread, more milk. But I cannot run out of milk. And I have to have two kinds of milk. So oh, that's the chocolate and, milk, uh, chocolate and um, white. If I ran out of white and I have powdered milk, I don't want to. But if no one else has milk for me to go get, I would have to mix up powdered milk for you, which is not very pleasing, but, you know. <laughs> I would be offering. Because I report to TEA, uh, which is a state thing, too, and a lot of times when we do things y'all don't understand, it's because we ask what the state tells us to, or the health department. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir? Oh, I had a question. I know that, like, in the beginning of the year, there's usually not a lot of, like, those extra snack days for different drinks. And I was wondering uh, if there's, uh, uh, why the reason would be that it's slower this year as far as the second nine weeks. What's slower, the line or? Uh, well, the getting more and different, like. The variety of snacks, is that what you're asking? Well, I'm limited by what they tell me to get. And what you see is pretty much all that I can buy. I don't want to buy something that I'm afraid will be sitting on my shelf and I end up throwing it away, like peanut butter crackers. I can order those, but I'm not sure that those would go well. So I try to order the chips that y'all would like and that you buy, <laughs> you know, and we really stop selling Cocoa Crisp because they said there's too much fat in the Cocoa Crisp. Mm -hmm. And what it is is that uh, the ingredients that you have in the chocolate covering that raise the fat. So I've been told to sell it more. So that's why that's gone. We are getting ice cream machine. Uh, it's, come, it's come pretty quick. We asked for it only two years ago. <laughs> so we're getting that. We'll have some ice cream. Uh, I'm being sarcastic. We'll have some ice cream, but we're pretty limited in what the state says is allowed. And it goes by fat and carbohydrates and sugar, content. sugar mm -hmm. all that.
um, meat or meat alternate, uh, fruit or uh, vegetable or fruit, a dairy product, a bread, uh, and when you get lunch, you have to have at least three components to call it a lunch. And the reason we do that is because the government says, okay, we're going to say it's going to cost you $2.65 to feed each student. But we're going to pay the rest. You can charge a dollar ninety, and we'll pay your school district the rest each day. So every day that you eat a lunch for dollar ninety, the government pays for the rest of it, which actually is taxpayers' money. But um, well, I'm sure you've heard your parents say that. But uh, and that's why teachers pay two sixty five because the government doesn't take up the rest of their lunch. Just the mine. I'm just the, the food. Yes, sir. What tax money on the area could you want? What? Okay, okay. <laughs> it goes to lots of things. One more question, Sarah. What? Yeah. Go ahead and ask your question. Oh, well, I was going to ask, why do the teachers have to solve our Well, because they pay a full amount for one thing. And, you know, the salad this year, the salad mix, the canned fruit, the carrots, the cauliflower, cucumbers, and all that. Y'all can come back for seconds on that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Crystal, year, last question. This year you can do that and it'd be great. Crystal? Cool. Yes. Yeah. Whatever happened to the apple? Well, I just today, we, we ran out from last week. I want to take much more of our time. This is her time. Ran out. And our order doesn't come to Wednesday. So I need to go borrow some from another school. So Ms. Gunstrom, we have one more. Okay. Sorry. Okay, a quick question. Um, why are the, uh, the pickles, like the spiced pickles, that are in uh, the plastic containers only for sanitary? It saves money, and I'm accountable for the money. If I overspend, they know it. They keep up with what I spend. On here at the end of the list, it shows paper goods, food, and chemicals. It breaks it down into what I serve and what I buy, and they compare them, and they can tell if I'm overspending. And plus, when I set up pickles for um, the students, a lot of students will take as many as they can get on their tray, and it's wasteful. And it's not because you're just trying to be picky. I'm accountable for all that. Just like you're accountable for your homework, you're accountable for the way you dress and come to school, you know, you're accountable for if you story or don't story if you're honest. I'm accountable for that. I'm accountable for everything. They have it down. They put it in the computer. They know exactly what I'm doing. You know, what I'm ordering, what I'm serving, if there's a strain, if they don't match up, they know. So if you had a big overage in one area, yeah, then they'd be like, why are you ordering that? Right. And is this the money that you take from the government? No. Uh, Sodexo, uh, they manage us, the, 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 actually with the food service, what we sell, they put that money in a bank, uh, in a account, and we actually support ourselves. It doesn't, it, the only money that can go to the district from the food is that they can, uh, they can pull the uh, interest. They can use the interest, but all the other money that we make pays our salaries, pays for the food, uh, all that. And usually we're over budget a month before we have a new budget. I mean, you know. So you're borrowing from your new budget to right, pay that. Right. So our money we make, and that's what pays our salaries too. So you know, if all of us managers, oh, just take all the pickles you want. <laughs> yeah, take three apples. Sure. Well, that's less money in the account for the district, less for uh, groceries and stuff, and then they have to raise how much uh, uh, lunches every day. Okay. So it's just being a good steward of the money.
All right. So is that it? Okay. I think so. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop this, but okay. thank you very much, Ms. Gunster.